All right, so I'll just go into, these are all test problems in my test course. <laughs> I'll just pick a random homework set here. Oh, wait, I gotta go act as a student. So once you're acting, then you can go to wherever you want. And check the problem grader and then check answers and then it shows up and it automatically shows correct answers throughout the, as long as the problem grader is active. And then you can set the score and hit save. If the student has worked the problem, then the comment box will show up and you can add comments for the problem. But this, my test user, let me go to one that has uh, worked stuff. This is a gateway quiz, but. That's even better, because then we know it works with gateway quizzes. And when you change problems, so here, this one, the student, me, <laughs> worked this problem and got it right. And not a very good problem. And you can add your comment. And of course, the, the preview works just like before. If you put a math jacks math in it, it works. Preview your comment. I'm not giving you full credit for that. <laughs> right. It, shows it, was, it was a lousy made. problem. It doesn't deserve to have 100. <laughs> <laughs> and when you change problems, the problem grader is still active. If you change students, and my server is going slow right now, the problem grader is still active. So you don't have to go down and click show problem grader on every time you switch problems or students. It's just there. And this then you can select, I don't have a lot of students here, select from the students that, are, that have taken the quiz and that's about it. And and do they see the comments then, the students? Yeah, so I'll go back to that problem that I put that comment. Oh, I didn't save the comment, did? Yeah, I did. It was two, right? You did, yeah. Was it two? Where's the comment? Are you still acting as instructor or? Hopefully it's not broken. It should show up whether you're viewing as instructor or not. I didn't save the score. That's weird. Unless I got something weird going on, on my server too. There's the comment. Yeah, there it showed up. Maybe I didn't save it right, I don't know. Oh, I see, okay, yeah. Um, um, and if there are multiple parts, none of these problems seem to have that. I think I have one in here. Now this one has some parts. Then if there are weights on it, the weights show up. And these top, if you read the directions here, it shows that these are not actually saved anywhere. They're just computed from how the grader worked. But if you use them, it automatically computes your problem score from that. This is the only thing that is saved in the directions here say that too. Uh, Glenn, this is a major feature. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is going to make a big difference. I bet a lot of people are going to really like this. Yeah, and I had your input on creating this too. I don't know if you remember back in December. <laughs> Once. I'm not sure I do remember what <laughs> I hope it was useful input as opposed to I forget exactly, it. but you had mentioned something about when there are parts breaking up this and so that's where this comes from. <laughs> yes, no, I this is these are features that I wanted. I and I have told more than one person, I think, that, that you know, one of these days this is what we're going to do. Apparently, I told the right person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I told a bunch of wrong people, too. But it just but uh, but this is I think this is really great. Um, the. Um, 
So, and the student app is here, by the way, anytime you're acting as a student, not just when the problem grader is active.